Andrea Grasso, March 2008 Goblet of Truth, a goblet that should not pass by anyone, because it is not only this book but all of Billy's works that have shown me to a way of life directed towards creation. The spiritual teaching is life itself, the way and the objective of every single human being and even though I may not really be able to assess the full extent of the unbelievable wealth of knowledge, truth and wisdom in Billy's works, they are nevertheless my life. Therefore, it is scarcely possible to express in words how thankful I am to Billy and also to the Pleiaran for the spiritual teaching, but above all for the deep love and friendship, for the patience and schooling in life. As I am taking steps, small though they may be, along the path of spiritual teaching, I can make a small contribution so that the immense work of Billy and the Pleiaran will take root all over earth in the far future and will serve all life. Barbara Harnish My evolutive progress is continuously being guided in the correct, namely the creational direction, by the valuable statements in the Goblet of Truth. It is simply down to me to increase my cognitions daily and to apply the knowledge that I have obtained, to search for the truth in myself and put myself reliably on the path of life, which is not always simple. This means turning the teaching of life into deeds. Actually, I cannot find the words to express my infinite gratitude for Billy's love, knowledge and wisdom that he is using for all humankind. The things that are expressed in each of his writings, deeds and in conversations with him can be read all the more impressively in the Goblet of Truth. It is an indescribable gift to humankind on earth, in the entire universe and beyond. Daniela Byler one day, Billy said to me, I can write much better if you sleep in the office next to me on the sofa. I was really astounded because I do occasionally tend to snore slightly. Well. This did not disturb my beloved life partner at all. When writing, and because he does most of his writing at night, I am so happy to help him in this in the sweet land of dreams. This is how his latest work The Goblet of Truth came about. It is a wonderful teaching book that accompanies us dreamers through our entire life. An unending source of thought-provoking ideas. To read a verse, a page gives us brain food which nourishes and occupies us for a long time and evolves us. What could be better? Nothing. Ava Berry, 13.3.2008 In this book, The Greatest Friend of Humanity of All Time on Earth, Billy Edward A. Meyer Beam has once again succeeded in astonishing not only myself, but probably most human beings who read this major book. Although I have a similar reaction to every new book that Billy produces, above all when EOM appeared, which is in its way really the book of all books. Now Billy has once again surprised us, because the Goblet of Truth is also a work of unique preciousness. It is a heart-rending call to the human beings of Earth finally to follow the laws and recommendations of creation and to live according to them. This book casts light into the darkness of human ignorance about the relationships between material and fine structured material in life. It is an explanatory call to come to our senses and refrain from the entirely mistaken paths of human life goals for purely physical, material values, to finally set about searching for the only real purpose in our life. It is a book that evocatively shows human beings the great danger that the human beings of Earth have maneuvered themselves into because of their continuous behavior against the law of creation, against nature, human beings, animals and our planet. The words of truth in this book are so mighty and stirring in their clarity and admonition that they will be able to reach the deepest core of every human being. It is not only as if a hurricane or typhoon were setting the sea in uproar, but also at the same time as if a gigantic earthquake were shaking the innermost inner, because the statements in this book with their explanations and instructions struck me with a comparably gigantic force. Just like an arrow strikes the innermost center of the target, every single verse, 
Every chapter in this new work from Billy the person whom I have chosen for myself as teacher of all teachers triggers not only deep agitation but also great joy and thankfulness for the unsurpassable explanations and precise words of truth in all regards. Surely the humankind on our planet will never be able to grant the master of the days, the light bringer Billy Edward A. Meyer Beam the honor and thankfulness that is his due for his untiring work and giving the misdirected human beings of earth not only all previous works but now also this new and precious book of instruction. With respect, in thankfulness and giving the highest honor Brunhilde Koyhop. The Goblet of Truth is the culmination of a uniquely brilliant idea that no Kadimian contrived 96 billion years ago and set on its apparently endless way sometimes a stony one, as a teaching of life and spirit. The teaching of creational laws and recommendations, cast and forged in the hot fire of truth, reveals itself to us children of the mission today as an elemental, gigantic tool for creating a true art of living, freedom, harmony, dignity, respect and love. These noble words shock the pitiable present-day world like a rumbling thunderstorm, and in the future too, the hard yet fair word of the prophets, steeped in love and compassion, will be brought to the peoples as a brightly shining light of truth, as since time immemorial. As companion, pupil and son of the mission, I feel a deepest connection with it. Unhesitatingly, I would again join the ranks of those who accompany the prophets over millions and billions of years supporting and therefore helping them to bring their hugely taxing work to full fruition. As a small part of this mission history, I bow down in respect. Stefan A. Rickauer, 15 March 2008, 1049 hours Nothing better could have happened to me in my life than meeting Billy Edward Albert Meyer and the FIGO organization he established free community of interests for the border and spiritual sciences and ethological studies, Sam Yasa Silver Star Center, Schmidterty in Switzerland. I slowly approached Billy's writings and began to study his spiritual teaching somewhat later which is also the teaching of creation and the teaching of life. Increasingly, I came to understand the interconnections of being human in the real and true sense as well as the topics of rebirth, living and drying, death, spirit and consciousness, thoughts and feelings, the psyche and having a spiritual fine sensitive feeling, the causality of cause and effect, bipolarity of positive and negative, striving, the obligation of self-responsibility and evolution. One of the most important fundamental principles for me is love. In this way, I also learn to deal with difficult situations in my life. Spiritual teaching has become one of the most important tasks in my life. As the veil was gradually lifted from my eyes, I finally began to understand that this is the real truth namely what Billy is giving and teaching to us human beings in terms of knowledge, wisdom and love. I became aware that the human beings of Earth have been going astray for millennia because of religions, sects, false prophets and pseudosciences, have been blinded, irresponsibly raised, filled with falsehoods and hindered in their evolution. When I came to know Billy better as a core group member, I finally realized how his nature radiates love. His character and his mode of life is simplicity, selflessness, hard work, honesty, intelligence as well as kind-heartedness and everything that is worthy of life. He works almost round the clock to fulfill his mission. He has an open ear for everyone and provides advice and help wherever necessary. Billy lives the teaching of spirit or the teaching of truth or the teaching of love for us, in all the treasure of this book, the goblet of truth, every day as an example. Dear Billy, you took millions of years to learn your teaching about creation, its laws and recommendations, and for many years now you have been active as a proclaimer and prophet of the truth to pass on this treasure entirely and with great self-sacrifice to all the human beings of earth, in order to bring them back to the correct path, to freedom, 
to peace, to love and harmony on our so degenerate world. Dear Billy, your spiritual teaching cannot be measured in gold and silver.